Okay, let's give you guys some more practice. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, so to do this, um, if you look at this, a uh, natural log graph looks like this. It looks like this. So, so natural log, always, it's always climbing and climbing and climbing. And when you power it, um, it, it it's, well, this thing here is going to head towards infinity. And then here is also heading towards infinity. So you've got infinity over infinity, which is an indeterminate form, uh, which means you can apply L'Hopital's rule. So applying L'Hopital's rule, if you differentiate this, it will then give you this. And then if you differentiate this, that will then give you this. So now, um, now, now tidy this up. So, uh, so if you tidy this up, it will then give you this. So now let's check it. Let's check it again. So as n tends to infinity, this whole thing here is heading towards infinity. This thing here is heading towards infinity. So this is an indeterminate form, which means you can apply L'Hopital's rule again. Well, if you look at this here, um, this, uh, to the power of three, to the power of three is pretty much this, this thing here is really, it's pretty much the same as this because if you repeat the process, now that we know it's infinity over infinity, we're going to apply L'Hopital's rule. So if you differentiate this, it will then give you this. Differentiate this, it will then give you this. Because now it's n squared, because you've got this, this uh, n here, it's going to bring it back up to n to the power of three, which you can see it's going around in circles, and because uh, because here's to the power of three, and up here is still to the power of three. But the the good thing is each time uh, the 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 power here goes down by one. This stays the same, but uh, the the power here goes down by one. So if if you look at this, we were here, we were here. Um, if if you uh, so so here you can see that it's infinity over infinity, which means we can apply L'Hopital's rule again. So hang on, hang on, hang on. Let's go back to here. So when we were here, this is to the power of five, to the power of three. The, and then we, we, we got to here to the power of four. Now this stays the same. And then, uh, and then, well, now, now we're at this stage here. Now it's to the power of three, to the power of three. So if you can, if you continue the process, here's infinity over infinity, which means you can differentiate it. Uh, you can apply L'Hopital's rule again. But then th this thing here goes down and then, this one here would be two. The, the point is, you, you can keep on repeating the process. So if you, re, if you repeat the process, eventually, eventually, you will get to to this form here, where where the where where the last one will be to the power of one, which is, and and then and then you you've got some constant which you don't care about. You've got an, another constant which you don't care about. So so from here, uh, because you know it's going to go around in circles, you, then. Then if, if you repeat the process, that will then take you to here. And then now differentiate it for the last time. So if you differentiate this, it will give you 1 over n times the constant. Uh, differentiate this, um, uh, you, you have whatever which you don't care about. And then n to the power of 2. Uh, tidy this up. And, and the very last one will be this one here. Um, so, so now you can see that as n tends to infinity, uh, this the denominator is going to get bigger and bigger and bigger, meaning the limit will be zero. I hope you can follow that. So next question. So find the limit of this sequence as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay. So to do this, um, rewrite this. So to do this, um, to do this, rewrite this as this. So when you have the nth root of something, uh, you can rewrite as this. So now imagine this as being like one block times another block in here. So that means this multiplied with the index here. So that would be n to the power of one over n. And then you've got your, your, your three to the power of n times this. So this gets multiplied with the n here, giving you one. So now, uh, now, it, so here you've got one block multiplying another block, which means you can take the limit of this block and then you can take the limit of this block. So basically, you've got this. You've got one block multiplying another one. So this we've seen in the past, and we we uh, we actually proved this. Um, this the the limit here as n tends to infinity of n to the power of one over n. You should know that it's uh, one. So so this block here is one. The limit of a constant is that constant. So it's going to be three. So one times three is three. The limit is three. Okay. Next one here. So find the limit of this sequence 
as n tends to infinity. So press pause and have a go. Okay, the the, the trick is to um is to uh is to uh, is to rewrite. So so here n you've got one plus another thing. So re remember if you have um x to the power of a plus b, that's the same as x to the power of a times x to the power of b. So basically, um, well break break this up. So here you've got one block multiplying another block. So um, so so here you can take the limits here. So the limit of this block times the limit of this block. Now if you look at this block, you should know that this block here n to the power of one over n. This this block here is heading towards one. The limit will be one. And then uh, this block here, well, as n increases, if you look at y y equals x, it looks like that. So so um, so this is always going to keep going. This this one here is going to keep on climbing. So you've got something that keeps on climbing times one. So it's heading towards infinity. Okay. So yeah. So it diverges.